If you've been waiting for Home Depot's next big sale flyer, here it is. We're going to jump into it. Let's take a look at what they got here. So what we got now, I'll be honest, it's focused on bath and stuff like that. But if you're here for the tools, I got a whole bunch of tools for you as well that are on sale right now in store or online. Let's go through this. So we got select bath, 40% off. We got, you know, cabinets. Uh, we're not going to focus on the bath stuff. If, if you're looking for that, you can, I'll put a link to the flyer down below. You can take a look at it. Storage, we got the tubs, the, the quintessential black and, and yellow tubs, but they also have them in the black and red now in the Husky. So ADX, it was a HDX or Husky. Uh, they're, I mean, they're both owned by Home Depot. So anyway, looking at 1088, 1098, I'm sorry, for the standard 27 gallon. That's a pretty decent price. They're decent tubs. They work, they're workhorse tubs. I think I got a couple sitting over there. Actually, they're, they're I, I wouldn't say like they're the best tubs out there, but they're not bad. They're just kind of middle of the road kind of tubs. We got the red ones there for $19 for the 25 gallons. I don't know if the red ones are, are worth it to me. Uh, we also have the little Husky 20 gallon professional duty waterproof storage container there for $30 and the transparent tubs, if that's your thing. If you're looking for that, uh, $16.98. Transparent tubs are great for if you want to be able to see through them, see what's inside of them. In my experience, uh, the transparent plastics don't last as long. Let me know if that's been your experience as well. Put it down in the comments. I'd, I'd love to see if, if everyone's having that issue with them. All right, we got some uh, we got some tile and stuff. Let's see what else we got here. Bear paint, you know, we're bear fans. I, I got to tell you, uh, I'm a big fan of bear paint. Uh, you probably heard the story before. I painted my trailer. I put uh, plywood panels on my trailer, and I painted them with bear paint, and that was... Ooh, I want to say 2017 that I did that. And for those of you who aren't keeping track, that's like six plus years ago. Still looks like I just did it. And that's gone through the California heat, the Las Vegas heat, the winters here in Montana, uh, rain, sleet, snow, the whole nine yards. It's held up fine. I'm stunned with the quality of it. All right, we got some scotch blue tape there. That's always a good thing. In fact, I, I think I've got some of that just... So I happen to have some here right at the desk. Uh, I, I swear by that stuff. Do not go with the cheek painters tape. Uh, you'll either get tape that won't stick or you'll get tape that won't unstick. And the painters tape is the whole point is that you need it to stay when it stays and come off when you want it to come off. We got doors, doors, and more doors. Don't worry, we got tools coming. We got boxes on sale, a buck 98 to 248 for the 27 inch. That's 15 by 18. Uh, diameter there uh, the O cedar mop this mop is actually pretty decent my wife bought it uh, several months ago and I, I kind of looked at it like a gimmick but you know what it actually makes life a little bit easier it's a decent mop it was at 40 bucks call it what it is uh, let's see here we got Ecolab we got the pink stuff for 597 here we go we got a Ryobi 2000 PSI electric pressure washer running at 1.2 GPM now if you want a comprehensive view on pressure washers. What you do is you multiply the uh, the PSI times the GPN, and, uh, and that's a great way to kind of gauge them overall. But there's some instances where you, maybe you don't need that much water, but you need the PSI, or maybe you just need more water and less PSI. You, you gotta, that's kind of like your garden hose at that point. Um, just make sure to be aware when you're comparing different prices on pressure washers. This one's a buck ninety nine, one at two hundred dollars. And uh, we got the Ryobi 40 volt cordless battery uh, string trimmer out there. This is a full kit here. You're getting the battery, you're getting the trimmer, you're getting everything there for uh, $179. That's not a terrible price. We got the mower there for $329. That's a 40 volt, 20 inch. Again, this isn't a bad time of year to invest in a mower. We got some Makita here, the 18 volt brushless electric uh, chainsaw. I think we actually have that in the list. We got the uh, the blower, the blower's okay. The Yeah, the other two, those aren't really deal kind of deals. Uh, we got uh, was it kitchen appliances. Now they're gonna talk about kitchen appliances. I'm gonna say this, we've talked about it on the channel, don't buy Samsung. And we've talked about that there are some good LG ones out there. But unfortunately, it looks like there's a problem with LG. In fact, you may have an LG uh, appliance and not even know it. They made a lot of the internals for other brands and there's a class action lawsuit going on against LG. I would uh, do a Google search if you've got, if you bought an appliance in the past three years uh, and to see if your appliance falls into that, refrigerator specifically that falls into that uh, class action lawsuit that they're working on. Um, all right, let's talk about the actual tools here. Let's see what they got. All right, I got not one but two 
uh, DeWalt multi-tools here. So we're looking at, the first one is the Atomic 20 volt max cordless brushless oscillating multi-tool. This is, this is a full kit, two amp hour battery with that. Uh, the Atomic, if you don't know, that's their compact but full size batteries. So it's not a 12 volt, it takes the full size 20 volt batteries, but it's a compact tool. So it's, it's kind of in between the full size and the 12 volt tools. This is a great tool, especially for a multi-tool to get in there with a nice compact one. It's got one of the easiest blade changes in the market, that nice little trigger down there. You just pull that and the blade pops right off. You can position it all sorts of different angles. For $100, that is a solid deal. Now, is this better than any other deal? No, this is kind of the standard sale on this one. So if you've been looking, but it's the low end, all right? They usually have multiple tiers of sale prices. This is the low end. It's the buy it now price on this one. Now, we also have the full size 20 volt max XR. That's the top tier brushless. Now, both of these are brushless. The Atomic are all brushless. The XR are all brushless. Then they have a one a line called just brushless. And then they have the brushed tools as well as the 12 volt tools. Anyway, we got the Max XR cordless brushless three speed oscillating multi-tool comes with a 1.5 amp hour battery and charger again it's a solid one i like the atomic one better but maybe you like the full size that choice is yours anyway you're getting the full kit here for 99 dollars. all right next up we got a bogo here for you you buy the battery kit and that's going to get you two of the four amp hour batteries with the chart i'm sorry no, i take that back it's a six amp and a four amp hour battery with the charger and the bag and you get a free tool on top of that that and the tool here is showing as the uh, the trim router here i don't know if you can change the tool i don't see anything on here it just says add to cart so i'm guessing the router there is is the only tool you can get with that so but still that's a fine tool it's, dewalt makes an excellent trim router the cordless one is pretty good too uh if you've been looking for it, i mean heck if you're going to buy the batteries anyway can't, can't knock it getting a free tool with it all right next up we've got some milwaukee here for you now this is the M milwaukee kind of the starter pack if you would you got the drill driver the impact we got a flash flashlight we got the one hand recip we got the multi-tool we got the circ saw the grinder a couple batteries the charger the bag and even throws in a, uh, some drill bits with it normally the list price on this thing is over six hundred dollars this this is a huge savings on this one you're coming in at 469 dollars seven tools well six plus a flashlight two three amp hour batteries decent batteries here's the thing these are the brushed tools as far as i can tell these are all the brushed tools doesn't make them bad all right milwaukee makes some of the most robust brushed tools out there dewalt i always say avoid the brush line uh especially their super super entry brush line which can be really really cheap these are truly solid professional grade brush tools uh, and, and if you're trying to get into Milwaukee on a budget this is a great way to do it or if you're looking for that kind of prosumer hobbyist level this is another great choice for you all right let's keep going we got the saw on its own this but this is not just the basic one this isn't the brushless this is the top tier fuel fuel is comparable to dewalt's xr line everything in the fuel line is brushless fantastic saw six and a half inch circular saw now my only issue with this is it's a left facing saw traditionalists older folk like me we're used to the right facing saw that's what i like nothing wrong with this just got to get used to that also it's not like the seven and a quarter it's a little bit smaller than the six and a half uh comes with a five amp hour battery with the charger full kit here for 200 bucks that is about i think it's over half off there 52 percent, i think it says anyway that is a great deal on that one uh, milwaukee makes some really solid circ saws i won't say they make the best out there but they're good ones and the fuel there for 200 dollars that's a solid uh solid deal on that one we got the impact now milwaukee as we all know makes some great impacts i just did a review on their latest one this is the m18 18 volt xc starter kit with a five amp hour battery charger quarter inch hex impact drivers so you're getting the tool the charger and the battery there and yes this is in the fuel line so the top tier brushless tool there for 159 dollars you're looking at 54 percent off now if you're looking m12 i'm a huge fan of the m12 line i got a bunch of them i don't have this one though uh, I wish I did just for comparison. We, so what you got here is not just the standard ratchet, but the fuel ratchet. So this is a brushless, more robust head on it. This is a beast of, of a of ratchet. So you got the ratchet, it's a 3 8 inch. You're getting the battery, you're getting the charger, you're getting the bag and, and the M12 grease gun there. 
that's a, an, an amazing deal there for $250. Now we have essentially the same kit, but they're throwing in the speaker instead. I personally would go for the grease gun. I don't know about you. I can get one of those anchored uh, uh, speakers, job site speaker things I've been talking about. They're like $25. It'll put out just as good sound as this. It, and then you don't have to use up one of your tool batteries or anything like that. Anyway, that my two cents on that. All right, we got the M12 stapler. I have this stapler love this stapler i've used it a bunch all sorts of things it's light it's compact it's uses the 12 volt you're getting the full kit here for a hundred dollars that is a great deal on that if you don't have a small electric stapler get this kit even if you're not in the 12 volt line you know just for around the house all sorts of stuff this is a great stapler i love it all right we got some rigid here for you now i know a lot of people are like hey by the way rigid changed you know they updated they they made their uh their warranty better because now you no longer have to go through so and so you just contact them and you send the tools straight th to them again i'm saying it's not better it's different i've had several people reporting back to me i've had one person who got back to me who said that they dealt with rigid and it was a fantastic experience i have two people who are still waiting months later to hear back from rigid after their alleged upgrade of their warranty process anyway that that's not to take away from the tools the tools themselves are fine tools uh, i like the rigid tools what you're getting here is you've got the brushless uh the the drill driver here this is in their subcompact line so again this is more like the atomic line that they have over at dewalt you're looking at 99 dollars on this for the full kit you're getting the dry, drill driver with two not one but two batteries with this with the charger with the mag that's a decent kit for a hundred bucks okay now we also have the recip saw here and they make a decent recip saw this is not the brushless recip saw though so it is going to eat <coughs> excuse me eat batteries like tic tacs it really is sorry it's getting a little cold in here i had to turn the heater off to do the video it is currently seven degrees out here in montana uh the low the low tonight i think is supposed to be negative 20. tomorrow night it's supposed to be negative 27 with the wind chill in the 50 ish negative 50 ish kind of area joy anyway <laughs> pray for me uh and 18 volt it, it, it's it's a good saw it's not a great saw it's a good saw for a hundred dollars for a cordless saw especially if you're already in the rigid line and you're kind of st try to stay on the budget level because you're looking at 170 for the brushless version uh version i said version uh you, <laughs> it's gonna be yeah that's a nice step up there you might want to consider this one all right now this this has always been like the black friday deal you get the three nail guns the pancake compressor from rigid for 109 dollars. it's still going on if you missed out on it this is a, you know what here you go there it is uh rigid makes a a really solid air compressor they make solid air guns there's just nothing wrong with this i know pros who use these amateurs who use this this is a great uh great set here for th uh for two hundred dollars three guns and a compressor and a hose all right let's talk about some ryobi we got the one plus this is the high torque impact wrench from ryobi with not one but two four amp hour batteries i was talking to some folks over on the facebook group you're a member of the Facebook group, right? No, no, don't get me started. I know we all hate Facebook. We all know that. But it's the best place to host a group, and that's where everyone is. So we got 110,000 people all contributing to answer questions, helping each other out. But there, somebody was asking, like, hey, I have, I think he's got the skill impact. And he's like, it just, it's not performing the way I thought it was. And we find out he's running a two amp hour battery. Brother, I'm here to tell you, I don't, don't care who you are, if you're running one of these high end impacts, four amp hour or higher unless you've got one of those fancy whiz bang high discharge rate batteries even then i'm still going to say four amp hour or higher is what you want to go with because the the arc swing this is way oversimplified the arc swing on the way it, it pulls the battery from the battery power from the battery uh the two amp hour is too uh let's just say too shallow for that arc swing of the battery curve the power curve on that um we got some hand tools let's talk about this we got the milwaukee mechanics tool set 191 piece tool set here for 749 it, it's not cheap but that's cheaper than it normally is and if you like the milwaukee hand tools a seek mental health 
uh, help. And B, no, I'm, I'm cheesing. I just, I tease. I can't help myself. But if you're looking for that, for $750, there you go. That's a that's kind of a pull the trigger, one and done kind of thing. Uh, we got also the metric tool set here, SAE and metric. I take that back. Uh, tool set, we're looking at sockets. You got the ratchet, got a couple extensions, you got a swivel, good solid one. I want to say this about this they're not using the standard blow mold case. Uh, in fact, there's a tray inside that comes out if it's like the other cases. Maybe they changed their case. Nope, here's a picture of it right here. Tray inside comes out, goes right in your toolbox. Need to go, take the whole thing, put it back in the box, close it up. Now you can throw it in your truck and go. That's a nice nice design. I wish more people did that. All right, let's keep going. Husky with the foam insert for your toolbox. One, two, three ratchets. Uh, they are the quick release. They are... 144 position now the reason they say that is because it's not teeth they're using that double mass because the powell has dual side kind of thing anyway they're smooth they're pretty smooth they're decent ratchets don't get me wrong for for a homeowner for a diyer that's a great set it is a great set. it comes in the foam tray you can throw it in your tool box that way when you open the drawer you're like oh i've lost the three eighths inch you know right off the bat all right. In fact, speaking of Husky, these are some solid ratcheting wrenches. There, you know what? We didn't see this this year really. We didn't see the the all the gear wrench fifty dollar deals for uh, for ratcheting uh, wrenches. I was disappointed in that. But here's a Husky one. It's it's a six. There's gonna be skips in here. I think uh, sixteen piece. 40 bucks, but for the home gamer, just getting started DIYer, that's a solid set of ratcheting wrenches, at least for the price. We got the, the Craig pocket hole jig here, the uh, it was at the 320 uh, with clamp and screws, ready to go, get into doing your pocket hole joinery for $40. Remember, pocket holes, are if you buy this, they're great. Pocket holes are great. They're not for everything, okay? Just be aware. It's like I see people and they get a pocket hole jig and suddenly they're putting pocket holes in everything. They're pocket hole in the dog. That's just wrong on so many levels. All right, let's keep going. We got Sawzall here. We got the wood blade, metal blade, buy cut, buy metal, rip, reset blades, decent blades. I don't feel honestly that, that Milwaukee Sawzall blades are to the level of the Diablo but they can see it from here. They're decent blades. And for 15, 16 bucks, call it what it is, $16 there. That's a nice set of blades for $16. I wouldn't mind having some of those in the drawer. All right, let's keep going. In fact, let's go back here. We got uh, the Diablo has their set for $29. I'm seeing down here. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Yeah, so uh, that, now that's a 28 piece. And uh, how much was the other one? That So the other one was a 19 piece. So, you know, you'll have to figure out the math on that one, which one works out better for you. All right, the, the Milwaukee Hole Dozer General Purpose Bimetal Hole Saw 10-piece. This is a nice hole saw kit. All right, I've got the Hercules one. Harbor Freight sent it to me. I love it. It's great. Uh, I would say it's pretty close, comparable to this one. Uh, but, you know, if you're in the Milwaukee kind of stuff, you like the red colors for $30. $30. How much is the Harbor Freight one? Uh, let me see if I can pull that up real quick. Looking at uh, $54 for the Hercules kit, uh, 13 piece, whereas we're looking at the 10 piece here from Milwaukee for $30. And I'd go with the Milwaukee one myself. All right, let's keep going. All right, this one, I, I th this might just be for me. I am totally enamored with this toolbox. So this has got to be for me, the king of all nine drawer toolboxes. Uh, Husky, of course, has made their nine drawers deeper than like the, the Yukon ones. So the, and they've added the power strip. They've made them a little bit more robust. So the price has gone up on just even the basic nine drawer. I think the basic nine drawer is about $400 just by itself. Now this one adds a, a whole nother level of use to it. It's got this fold out, uh, table on the back that flips up two legs come out and now you've got this huge work area for glue ups all sorts of stuff you could set up a track you know a track saw cutting area just, just be careful uh lots of great you know lots of air with <laughs> what's that line lots of room for projects i absolutely love this but here's here's the hook for me you got a kitchen that needs an island tell me that would not be the ultimate super easy install kitchen island. You're gonna get more flexibility out of that. It's got soft closed drawers. 
Uh, I believe it does. It'll, last time I looked at them, they had soft closed drawers. Um, but that is, it's got the USB built in. I would put the handle on the other side so it's not uh, covering up the, the power ports. You can, I could put my KitchenAid stand mixer up there, plug it right in. I could charge my cell phone at the same time. The kids could sit at the opposite end of the table, work on some homework, maybe do some breakfast kind of stuff. All sorts of great things in there. You get the nice big drawer up front. You got a couple small drawers, a medium drawer, and you got the deep drawer down below. I could put my KitchenAid down there, lay it on the side, all sorts of stuff. I got to tell you, if, if and unfortunately, my kitchen does not have room for an island. I wish. My kitchen is an island. Uh, you know, the, uh, if, I, if I had that kind of space, man, this would be a great setup. They come in black or white. I wish they had some better ones. Now, as far as other cabinets, now this is a rumor. Some one of you guys sent this to me. Uh, I think it was, oh, I, I can't remember who it was that sent it to me. I, I'm I'm blanking on it. I'm I'm terribly sorry. Uh, anyway, this was from six days ago. Was was the uh, post on this? Now, this is going to be what we call your mileage may vary. So this is clearly a manager closeout. Now, if one manager is doing it, maybe another manager is doing it. I don't know, but down from five forty-eight to three hundred dollars—that's a decent price on a stack like that. Uh, I wouldn't—I wouldn't hate on it. I'm not not a huge fan of the color, but at that price, I can make an exception. How about you? Anyway, there you go. That's the deals from Home Depot for this week. Stay tuned because we're going to keep covering all the sales flyers as they come up. We have some Lowe's stuff coming up. I'll try and see if I can find some Menard stuff for you. We got a whole build out here we're doing at the new shop, a new well, new studio actually. So we're going to be covering stuff like that, all sorts of great things. Um, anyway, so make sure you've chomped the old like button, smash that subscribe and ring the bell because that's a big thing with YouTube going forward this year is they're really trying to not notify people, especially on channels about my size, which is weird. But uh, yeah, so if you only seven, almost 8% of the people uh, of people who are subscribers actually have the notifications on. So double check, because they will might turn the notifications off on you. You know, they unsubscribe people, they turn the notifications off as well. You don't want to miss out on any of the big deals coming up because we're going to be covering them all. And trust me, it's Spring Black Friday. There's going to be a big launch for Spring Black Friday this year. So make sure you su you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the deals. Anyway, till next time, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.